So this is the view of our entire office. And let me show you the back area. So this is the area where we do our eye exams. And we're going to just come on back here. So this is our pre-testing room. This is where if you're getting an eye exam, you would start off. So this is our retina camera, and it's an amazing piece of technology to capture everything inside the inner back part of your eyes. So that includes your retina, your blood vessels, the nerve that connects your eye to your brain, and everything else in between we get to see by using this camera. The awesome thing with it is it gives us a huge view of everything inside the eyes without you having to be dilated. So if you hate being dilated and going through the eye drop process and being blurry for eight hours, this is definitely a great option. And it also enables us to check on the health of the back of the eyes. Plus you get a picture for yourself to keep as a document of your eyes or just put it as a background on your computer. Now I'm in the exam room. This is where you'll see the doctor and they'll check on the health of the eyes and check on your prescription. So everything here is pretty much like a regular type of exam, except this machine right here is built for someone who has a really hard time fitting into the traditional um, machines that the eye doctor uses during the eye exam. So it's much more comfortable. Everything that we've selected here in terms of equipment is based off of the person's comfort in mind. So we choose certain equipment pieces to make it more comfortable for the patient. We do not need to dilate you. We do not have an air puff. We do check your pressures, but instead of using a puff, we just pretty much use a little eye thermometer and it checks your pressures. So it's amazing because we get to be able to check on the health of your eyes without you having to be annoyed or blurry after your exam. Hi, I'm Dr. Jenny Cho. I'm a board certified optometrist here at Noon C. I'm from Boulder, Colorado. I went to school there up through college. I do have a degree in molecular, cellular, and developmental biology. I thought I wanted to be in research. So I was a medical researcher for um, genetics on aging and we studied C. elegans, which are pretty much microscopic worms and studied their lifespan and I hated it. To say the least, that's why I'm not doing it now. I just thought it was so boring. It wasn't something that I enjoyed doing. I felt like I wasn't getting any kind of social interaction. So I did do a big change on my career choice. I did ultimately end up going to optometry school, um, mostly by the advice of my own optometrist. And funny enough, I had never considered once before my whole decision to go into optometry school that I actually wanted to be an optometrist until I had an eye exam and I was just confiding with my optometrist and asking her, you know, hey, how do you, how do you like your job? Um, and she was raving on and on and on about it. So it kind of planted a seed in my head and I was like, you know what? I think I want to be an optometrist. So I applied to um, optometry school. Actually, Nova Southeastern down in Davie is where I graduated from. And it was uh, the best experience. I'd had so many amazing, brilliant preceptors there. The courses were designed to be more practice-based. How I ended up at Nunsi was a much longer process. I had practiced for six years before that, um, six years before I decided that I wanted to start my own practice. And a lot of things came up in my life that I did not plan for. And I was stuck in situations that ultimately, funny enough, led me to where I am here. And if it wasn't for those really terrible, frustrating, stressful situations, I would have not been able to set up Nunzi. So I am so thankful for my past and for all of my experiences. If you are out there and you're struggling right now, it's maybe leading you to something that's good and that has a bigger value for you down the road. So just a little word of encouragement on that. But 
back to Nunsi, I did want to set up a place where I felt like it can be something that people can turn to. And what I mean by that is I want Nunsi to be an optical where someone who's had a really frustrating, difficult time finding glasses, seeing well out of their glasses, are able to come to and feel like they're being heard and that someone is taking the time to listen to them and figure out what can help them cater something that will help them see their best and look their best. So that's why I wanted to build Noonsi. How I decided to build a place like Noonsi was based off of my own personal struggles with glasses. I always had a hard time finding glasses that I felt good and confident in. I can see out of them, but I never felt good enough where I can just put them on and feel confident with myself. And I've always worn glasses since I was a little kid. Um, I was 12 when I had my first pair of glasses. It wasn't a good experience. Um, I remember when I had my exam, it was just with someone who was straight faced, uh, didn't laugh, didn't make me feel very comfortable. I was just kind of like, oh, what is that? That's That was a very scary machine that just blew air in my eyes. Oh, what's this? These drops sting my eyes. Oh, I can't see what's going on. So there were a lot of bad experiences with the, um, the eye exams from my memory. And also after that, while I was blurry, I was forced to choose glasses and I had barely any selection. Um, the glasses back then when I needed them were just terribly ugly. They were a multi-color that didn't look well together. They were just round, didn't go well with my face shape and they didn't sit on my nose. It kept falling down. And I was mentioning some of these things to the optician who was fitting me and all she said was, uh, your nose is too flat. That's just what you get. And I was just kind of taken aback by that comment because I thought that was just so mean for someone to say, um, you can't feel good or look good in your glasses because of your face. And it was just kind of a very um, self-conscious thing ever since then that I've had in my life with glasses. And when I finally was able to wear contacts, uh, when my parents let me, I was so happy to get out of glasses because I just didn't feel confident in them. And I always had this feeling in the back of my mind that my face was just not meant to wear glasses for. Um, so I wore contacts, but you know, as many of you who do wear contacts know, if you overwear them or sleep in them for too long, you will get an infection one day. It will happen. There will be every single contact lens where I know has had at least one infection in their lifetime. And um, when I did get my infection from overwearing contact lenses, it was the most miserable experience and I was forced to wear glasses again. So there goes my cycle of self confidence destruction in my childhood and um and that's what i always had thought about in the back of my mind and it was only recently where the whole eye care realm has spun around and completely disrupted how we think about our glasses and how we look in them it started becoming a an accessory glasses became an accessory and they had way more selection in the styles the colors the designs and um, there are even things that fit asian faces frames that fit asian noses and that still look really stylish and good so in this most recent era of um, glasses being fashionable, I fell in love with glasses for the very first time in my whole entire life. I felt like I was able to wear glasses and feel happy wearing them and feel good wearing them. And that was just a huge turning point for me and my, um, my self-motivation and self-confidence. 
So when I built Noonsi, I had always thought of my 12 year old self in mind and I wanted to create a place where I will never make anyone feel like how I felt back then. I want this place to be a place where someone can come in and feel good and feel like their glasses were made for them and that someone actually listened to their fears and their doubts and their uh, questions and be able to trust that that person has empathized and taken those thoughts and fears into consideration and be able to fit you with an amazing pair of glasses that you can feel great in. That's what I wanted Noonsi to be. And when you do end up going to talk with the optician, you are never going to be told that your face will not fit glasses. We will make the glasses fit your face and we will design them to make sure that you feel good wearing them. So there's never going to be a doubt in that person's mind throughout the whole process that we're not absolutely 100% taking care of them. So I want to wrap this video up and just say thank you for watching and if you have visited our office, thank you so much for your support and our little team here. We are really here for the community and for you. So if you are in any need of glasses, eye exams, contact lenses, please give us a call. I'll put down all of our office information down below and please leave a comment. What was your first eye exam experience like? Was it good? Was it bad? What would your ideal eye exam be like? And what kind of things did you hate that you would want to get rid of for eye exams forever? And I would love to read those comments and I'll see you in our next videos. So the motivation for forming this YouTube channel is to kind of get you guys acquainted to our office, give you a tour, um, let you know what we're about and that we are offering ourselves to help you, um, but also to give you a lot of free information and maybe some things that not a lot of other doctors would want to give you freely. So there's a lot of tips on do it yourself, what to look out for, do you really have to get an eye exam, what kind of situations can you handle on your own. So these are some of the videos that we're going to be putting up on this channel. Um, all eye related, vision related. If you're a nerd like myself, subscribe and click on that little bell next to the subscribe button and you'll be notified every time we post a new video. So you will get a lot of free information. Examples of our future videos will be how to tell if you have pink eye versus allergies, how to take care of broken glasses on your own, and what to do if you are in an emergency situation but you can't get an eye exam. There will be new videos every month and if we gain attraction and a lot of people are interested in these videos, we'll start posting more often. So please like this video and let us know that you're interested in seeing more things like this and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye!